Tell me a little bit about Grand Piano. So this movie, it's shot, as I understand it, is it kind of a real time, correct? Yeah. Well, the movie basically covers the moment that the, the main character, Tom Selznick, star, uh, starring Elijah Wood, uh, returned to the stage after five years of uh, being retired because of stage fright. So we literally cover the moment that he uh, lands in Chicago and goes to the auditorium. Once we step in, 70% of the movie is real time. So yes, you could you, you could say that it's 100% real time in a way. So. And it taking place you know, in this kind of concert hall for a lot of the time, what challenges as a director to keep the setting fresh throughout, you know? How do you yeah. do that? Well, you know, the first thing you do is you read the script from left to right, and that's something that I've learned. I mean, I have a short experience. This is my third movie, but I learned a couple of tricks. And what the, the revelation that I had when you read a script is that all the ideas that come, they pop up aesthetically or semantically. It, the best thing you have to, what you really have to do, is write it down to make sure that, oh, when he says that, I'm going to get to this big shot that I see the whole audience, and then I pan to the right and I see his his face. If that works the first time you read it, and that makes it to the end. Of the process that's priceless so the first thing that I did was to have a record of all the first impressions that I had then go for the second ones the third ones and then I started playing to reorganize oh that idea that I thought it was right here is too soon because at this point the character is not so determined so okay when I delay it to 20 pages later and I love playing that I mean it, 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 it go it goes into a really obsessive process but at the end it pays off naturally and uh, that's the biggest to me that the biggest compliment when people see that they think that it's just fun to me, that's the biggest compliment. That's awesome. I love your shirt. That is some oh, awesome thank red you. carpet fashion, and I can't wait to see the movie, man. Fantastic, man. See you around. Yep. You were here for Grand Piano, correct? Yes, sir. Awesome. And so we were just talking to Eugenio. Yes. And he's saying that you did, you took lessons as a kid, you yes. know, a little bit, but not really much no. uh, knowledge how to play piano. That's for the correct. Moment. So he was talking about there's a scene where it's the camera's on you for a long time playing this masterful much, piece. Yeah, much longer than we had planned, actually. Was there a lot of stress of like, you know, I'm getting my acting down, but uh-oh, I like let slipped a pinky there and... Yeah, well, it, I think a lot of the time it was... It was thinking about multiple things at the same time. Um, you know, there are shots in the film. That one wasn't so much. Um, that was that was more complex because of how complicated the music was, and the fact that that I was, you know, essentially naked on screen, having for that length of time playing. There were there were scenes that were in some ways more complicated because I would have to be listening to. John Cusack's voice in my ear, listening for the music cues to be on time with the music, and deliver dialogue. So th those were in some ways the, the hardest because there are literally three things that are happening at once. So it's like patting your stomach or rubbing your stomach and, and hitting your head, like yeah. trying to do you know things that you're not. It's like it's the, the most intense kind of multitasking. What, what was it about this movie that drew that just drew you in the scripts or the director? Or? Um, it was a mix of both of those things. I mean, I, I'd gotten to know Eugenio from Fantastic Fest. I met Eugenio three years ago at Fantastic Fest. So in some ways, this movie wouldn't have happened had it not been for Fantastic Fest, or at least we may not have worked together. Um, so I was really excited at the prospect of working with him and what his vision was for the film. And I loved the script. I loved, uh, I loved the idea of you know, essentially a suspense film in the context of this sort of real-time concert that's taking place. Absolutely. And all of the various his sort of classical elements that you could that you could employ as a filmmaker in, into the context of that film. It was exciting. Awesome, awesome. Are you a UT fan? You, you know, I'm you're in huge, Austin. I'm not a huge football fan, but oh. I support UT. Awesome. Do you want to give a hook him into that camera right there? Is that... That's that right there. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I can't wait to see the movie. Thank cool. you so much. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Yeah.